Rodriguez. Can't wait to see this. Yeah, thing. You're, you're gonna love it. And of course, we will be catching up with you as the festival gets underway. So thanks, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank All you. right. Yeah. See you later. Thank okay, you. we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back on this amazing, beautiful, sunny day and movies all in one place well you've come to the right place because we're talking latino film festival and it is happening starting next thursday joining us here this morning are a variety of people who are involved in this let's start on the outside that is heros bertrand you are the producer of a really cool movie it is called Ruta Madre. We have a lot of uh, big stars from both sides of the border, from Mexico and the United States. And that's one of the movies we're going to see. The chef in the middle, by the way, five-star chef from Baja, California, Chef Rufo Ibarra. Good morning. Good morning. Five-star, huh? Yeah, five, I don't know about five-star. Top but shelf, baby. Uh, we're the new guys in town. Well, you're the new guys and you're the good guys. And Ethan is here, Ethan Van Hilo, and you are the executive director of the entire festival. Yeah. Yeah, I started the film and festival 24 years ago. 24 now, yeah. and let's talk about that. We'll start with that and talk about how things have changed, how it's evolved, and how it's grown over the years. Yeah, we're expecting over 20,000 people this year. Wow. 24 wow. years ago, we started as a small student film festival, but now we have major actors and talents that are coming to the film festival. Screen movies with Ava Langoria, Damian Bichir, Paul Rodriguez, Hector Jimenez from Nacho Libre. So a lot of celebrities are in the movies, and then they come uh, to the film festival as well. A lot of telenovela stars are coming out. Ooh, yeah. We like that. <laughs> and then something for everyone. There's there's uh, family films, action films, comedies, dramas, uh, documentaries. Uh, so we really enjoy celebrating Latino communion and celebrating Latino diversity. I noticed one thing about Latino Film Festival when uh, when we have these festivals. A lot of the movies are getting really good theater and movies yeah. with food, wine, and beer, yes. mostly from Baja. Good morning. Good morning. And first of all, tell us where you're from. You say you're the new guy. You, you well, we're the new guys tap. in Tijuana. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, we have a restaurant called Oex Capital. Yes. Uh, we've been open for a little bit over a year. Well, I've heard great things about it. Uh, our director lives down there, and he went there for his birthday and said it was blew his mind. Well, I'm, I'm happy that they had, they had a good time. That was time. Louise, yeah. Yeah, well, maybe maybe he had a couple of cocktails. Yeah, we're possibly <laughs> so. But uh, you are obviously are at the top of the pops here in terms of cooking, and what are you putting together? A little well, sample here? Yeah. But you're also going to combine it with uh, with some Baja wines and beers and stuff like yes, that. Yes, that's, that's the fun part of it. I mean... It's the second year that the, the, the Food, Wine, and Beer Festival is, is pairing up with, with the Film Festival. Yeah. And I think it helps a lot, um, especially in these days. There's a lot of things going on in Baja, uh, especially in Baja, not, not just all Mexico. Yeah. We were like in the eye of it when we were in New York Times and LA Times. Yeah. So we're trying to represent the movement uh, of food. We had, like, like California, we share most of, of the same ingredients. Everything's fresh. We have yeah. farms, we have seafood, we have a lot of everything, so, exactly. so it's easy. It makes it a lot easier for us. Yeah, it does because we have access. Exactly. So what do you think? We're doing a, 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 it's a ceviche. It's a tomato ceviche, oh. actually. So we have four different types of tomato. Everything's from Baja, mm -hmm. and we're doing a ceviche for it. It's vegan. If you want to have fish in it, you just put some fish in it. It's, uh, it's very easy. Right, and so when you say ceviche, how does that become ceviche? Well, it's cooked under uh, an uh, acidic um, liquid. Yeah.